Kittens, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another mukbang video. So I know you can't kind of see it because I can't really get the camera angle right, but I promise you I'm doing my best. Um, I'm eating Carbo Fire noodles today with some cheese. Now, as I have told you guys, um, this is not my first time eating Carbo Fire noodles. This is like my third time. The first time I had ever eaten it was like when I first got the packaging. But now I've actually perfected how I cook it, so that way it actually is a little bit nicer, a little bit tastier, and a little less spicy for me. So, instead of boiling it, and I'm so sorry if I offend anybody with how I make it, this is just how I can handle it. So, I instead of boiling it in water, I boil it in milk with the sauce packet in there. Well, not the packet, but like the sauce in there, so I kind of mix it around, let it boil, and then I boil the noodles in that, drain it, rinse it just a little bit not not enough to like completely get rid of the spice but enough to just kind of like get rid of any clumps and then um i put it back in the pot with a little bit more milk and then some cheese so basically this is like makeshift mac and cheese and then of course i put like the powder stuff in there that it comes with but let's give it a try i did this with the cheesy oh no i did this with these noodles once before i did it with um with hubby when he made his black bean noodles, which I will be trying on the next mukbang. So, wow, these turned out really good. And the spice is still there, but it's not as overwhelming. Well, I won't be, I won't be trying black bean noodles. I'll be eating them because I've already had them three times now. They're really, really good. And by far in the top three noodles that I have, obviously I only have three, but I think if I were to rank them, it'd go Carbo Fire, Black Bean, and then uh, Cheesy. Not to say I don't like the Cheesy, but it's definitely not my favorite out of the three that I have. I really like it. Now, according to Weight Watchers, I can only have half of this. So once I eat about half, I'm going to be putting the other half in the fridge for tomorrow, just to have for breakfast or whatever. <laughs> so in terms of trying any of the other fire noodles that I know exist out there i don't think i'm gonna do it because those flavors just look way too intense for me i may try the corn one because a lot of the asmrs and mukbangers i watch eat the corn one and it does look really really good i'm just kind of skeptical on how it would taste same with the the curry one i want to try the curry one but i can't add anything to the curry one like i can't add cheese or anything because i don't really see how it would taste good adding cheese to curry. I mean, me personally, I've only had Indian food a couple of times and I don't know if it's right to add cheese to it or traditionally you add cheese to it. You know, I just think if you have curry, it has to be just straight up curry. But if I'm wrong, I do apologize. I just, I don't really know, you know what I mean? With the corn, I know you can add cheese because a lot of the ASMRs to mukbangers I watch eat cheese corn, so I mean, I guess it's no problem there, and people add parmesan to their corn anyways. Sometimes they'll add, like, in my, in my culture, we had, like, queso fresco, we had sour cream, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a lot better than when I had the cheesy noodles, and that was, like, burning a hole in my mouth still delicious but burned a hole in my mouth <laughs> i'm gonna cut this in half so i don't eat more than half yep that's half <laughs> all right i mean yeah i can still feel the spice but it's a good kick instead of like again a burn a hole in your mouth kick which is a kick i cannot handle And again, I do apologize that I grind my teeth on the fork. It's just how I've always eaten. Um, I, I don't, I can't really do it with just my lips. It feels weird, like. See what I mean? I feel like if I use my teeth, I get everything on here, but I do apologize if some of you don't like that. I know it's a pet peeve for some people, so if you don't like it, I am very sorry. I mean, you don't you don't have to watch this if you don't want to, but that's just how I eat. <clears throat> it's funny; it's not spicy, but I still get that feeling in my throat whenever, like, I choke on this on the spice. 
but it's still really good. I love it. I can see why a lot of ASMRs and mukbangers like this one. One girl specifically, like I said in my previous video, her name's Minnie. She loves the Carbo Fire noodles, and now I see why. I am addicted to these. Especially with the way I, like, personally make them. Because everyone tailors their own food to how they like it. I mean, no one's going to eat their food the same way as somebody else, you know? Everyone makes theirs differently because everyone has different taste buds. And this is just personally how I eat mine. And there's nothing wrong with it. But again, I do apologize if I offended anybody with how I make this. That is not my intent. It's just how I can handle the spice while still enjoying everything these ramen noodles have to offer. I just hate that I have to put the other half away. Like, honestly, I could eat this whole thing if I wanted to. Also, I apologize for the profanity on my shirt. This is Hubby's shirt, and it's um, referencing a band uh, called Tame Impala. So I'm so sorry if that's like just out of nowhere in the video. So sorry about that. <laughs> like I haven't done laundry and I've been ha needing to do laundry since last Thursday. So I've been wearing his PJs for like the past, well, not last Thursday, but this past Thursday. So I've been wearing his clothes to bed. <laughs> And they've been very, very comfy, and I think that's the best sleep I've ever gotten was in his PJs. I will admit, though, men do have comfier clothing. Like, being a woman. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love my clothes. And I can find comfy clothes, that's not a problem. But, I, whenever I put one of Hubby's outfits on, it's like... Holy crap, this is so much better. <laughs> like, this shirt that I'm wearing is super soft. And same with the shorts I'm wearing too, and thankfully they're elastic so they fit around my hips. I know you guys probably just saw a jump cut from me talking to now. Um, in between that jump cut, my mom came in to talk to me, which was really nice. But within that time, bra time frame, I do not remember what I was talking about. <laughs> um, I also left this here because I didn't want to eat it while she was here and then like kind of finish it off, so. Oh, we only have a few more bites left, guys. I'm so sad. I think what I may do tomorrow, if I wake up before hubby again, is film like a leftovers mukbang with this and then eat the other half for you guys. Because then that'd be kind of fun. <clears throat> Not to say I don't like just eating ramen noodles on my own, but... Come on, I love filming these for you guys. I love being a mukbanger, but even though it's few and far between that I'm a mukbanger, but I wouldn't say officially I am. I only have two videos out. And not to mention, I'm not doing that full time on YouTube. I mean, with YouTube, I pretty much do a lot on here. I do Disney stuff. I do other stuff like the Spanish lessons and the getting to know me's. And there's actually a new playlist coming out i believe in october or september one of the two I, i'm pretty sure it's gonna be october so watch out for that um i actually got the idea for the playlist from harley baby so when i make my first video and upload it i will be thanking her i do apologize if i drooled oh my god i'm like i'm drooling because it's so good but i'm also drooling because it's like just a little spicy it's not too spicy it's just a little spicy but it's still enough to cause a drool All right, guys, we have one last bite. I'm gonna make a count. So I'm just gonna have some water and we'll eat it. Okay, last bite, guys, I'm so sad. <laughs> I don't want this to be the last bite, but I also can't have the other half because it's worth 19 points. This whole thing is worth 19 points. I only get 30 for the day and I still need dinner. 
and even with the cheese in here now i only have 13 for dinner so i gotta be like super light for dinner which is a huge problem because we have someone coming over today and usually when we have someone coming over and we try to make a good impression we make like a lot of food so cry <laughs> hopefully it's something like chicken or shrimp or no you know what my dad's probably gonna end up making steak which is high in points because it's steak <laughs> I'll be honest though, lately, I haven't really been into meat. Like, well, not like, I haven't really been into chicken or, or like, steak. Like, the only meat I really enjoyed recently is fish and, like, burgers. And I know that's a form of beef, but it's, like, ground beef. And don't get me wrong, I love steak. I love my red meats. But lately, it's just, like, I don't know, I've been so turned off by meat lately. And I mean, not to say I'm gonna go vegetarian or vegan, I just can't, <laughs> I, I physically can't, I need protein. And I know you can get it from fish, because I know if you eat like an overabundance of fish, it's almost like food, mercury poisoning, I think, but I think that's only if you like eat like an overload of mountain when sitting or whatever. But anyways, last bite guys. I'm starting to feel it in my tummy, so I should probably stop anyways. Alright guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I will be back either with a um, leftovers video or with the black bean noodles video. So thank y'all so much for watching. Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.